Joseph Cajetorn Tyl, the 4th of February 1808 to the 11th of July 1856, Czech pronunciation, Josef Kajta Ntl, was a significant Czech dramatist, writer, and actor. He was a notable figure in the Czech national revival movement and is best known as the author of the current national anthem of the Czech Republic titled Kde Domov Muj. Life Joseph Kajetorn Tyl was the first-born son of Jerry Tyl, a tailor and retired military band oboe player, and his wife Barbora Ne Kralikova, daughter of a miller and groats maker. He was christened Joseph Frantisek, yet this name was changed into Joseph Kajetorn when he underwent confirmation at the age of 11. The family surname had several written forms, Tilly, Tilly, Tilly or Tith, and was later changed to Tyl. Joseph Kajetorn had four younger siblings, one brother and three sisters, but except sister Anna none of them survived to adulthood. After finishing elementary school, Joseph Kajetorn studied at a grammar school in Prague and in Radic Kralove. Among his teachers belonged the leading Czech linguist and writer Josef Jungmann and the playwright Václav Klimant Klikpera. After finishing his studies at the grammar school, he started to study philosophy in Prague. Already as a student, Tyl started to be active in theatre and finally left school to become a member of the Hilmer Travelling Theatre Company. When the company disbanded after two years of journeying around the countryside, he returned to Prague and got a job as a clerk in an infantry regiment's office. In his free time, he wrote theatre plays and worked as an actor at the Estates Theatre. Due to his abilities, he could leave his job in the military in 1842, as he was given a full-time job at the Estates Theatre, where he became the director, organizer, and playwright of the Czech Ensemble in the otherwise mainly German theatre. In 1833 Tyl became a redactor of a renewed Czech magazine called KVT Blossoms, which exists until today. He was also a redactor of the magazines Vlastimil and Pražský Pozel Prague Messenger, and of the newspaper Sedle Noviny Farmers newspaper, that were later banned because of his political involvement. Tyl used several pen names that were often derived from the name of his hometown Kutnohora, for example, Horsky, Hornik, Kutnohorsky, and Vitek. In the revolutionary year 1848, Tyl became politically active and was briefly a member of the Austrian parliament in Vienna. Because he fought for the independence of the Czech nation from the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, he was later marked as politically unreliable by the authorities and expelled from the Estates Theatre. He wanted to found his own traveling theater company but his request was rejected, so in 1851 he joined an existing one and left for a tour, together with his family. Yet the theater company did not fare well, and the Tyl family ended up in poverty. In 1856, during his theater's stay in Pilsen, the 48 years old Tyl died of an unknown illness and was buried at a local cemetery. A theater in Pleasan was later named in his honor Davadlo Josefa Kajetorna Tulla. Work Tyl was an author of several novels and short stories, but he is most famous for his about 20 theater plays, which can be divided into several groups. Plays describing the life of the Czech society in Tyle's time period Palakova di Serra Arsonist's daughter Praszki Flamenda Prague Playboy Bankrata Bankrata Chudikajklia Poor Juggler Topic Plays portraying famous events from Czech history, especially the Hussite movement. Jan Hus, Zizka Z. Tropnova, Zizka of Tropnov, 
Kravavi Sod Aneb Kutnohorsti Havi A Bloody Verdict, The Miners of Kutnor Hora Kravave Katini, Aneb Drahamira A Jaji Sinove Bloody Baptism, or Drahamir and Her Sons Topic. Plays featuring fairy tale characters fairies, witches. Strakonicki Dudork the bagpiper of Strakonice, one of his most famous works Lesni Panna Aneb Sester do Ameriki the forest maiden, a journey to America Tiviardiola Vazina the stubborn woman Jerikovo Vidani George's vision Sert na zemi Devil on Earth. Topic: Other plays. Pani Marjanka, Matka Pluku, Lady Marjanka, Mother of the Regiment. Fidlovaka, a song from this play, named Kde Domov Muj, became the Czech national anthem in 1918. Slepi Maladenek, the blind young man. Topic: Family. Tile's wife was a Czech actress Magdalena Fortshimova (1803–1870), who performed under the pen name Skalnor. Tyl met her in 1829 during his first tour with a traveling theatre company, where they both performed. They married on 28 January 1839, yet their marriage stayed childless, as after a stillbirth Magdalena couldn't have any more children. In 1841 Tyl fell in love with his wife's much younger sister Anna, who was also a talented actress and performed under the pen name Anna Rajska they started an affair, Tyl did not divorce or leave his wife however and all three of them lived together in one household until his death. Anna bore her brother-in-law eight illegitimate children, the youngest son was born one month after Tyl died. The sons went by the mother's surname Forchheim, daughters were allowed by the authorities to use father's surname Tyl. On 24 April 1861, five years after Tyle's death, Anna married Tyle's colleague, actor Joseph Ladislav Ternovsky, with whom she had three more children. Ternovsky took care not only of Tyle's family but also of his legacy by saving his manuscripts and publishing his works. <laughs> <laughs> children of Joseph Kajetorn Tyl Joseph Otaka Forchheim (1843–1907), Doctor of Philosophy and Gymnasium Professor in Pleasen, buried in Prague at the Vizerad Cemetery. Jan Stanislav Forchheim (1845–1890), Turner and military band musician. Marie Eleonora Tylova (1848–1868), actress, buried in the village of Morkovice u Kromarize. Eliska Tylova (1850–1909), governess and actress, buried in Prague at the Slavine Cemetery, alongside her mother. Vojtech Joseph Forchheim (1851–1862), drowned as a child in the Vltava River. František K. Forchheim (1853–1902), actor of the National Theatre, used one of his father's pen names, Hornick, as his own pen name. Stillborn Boy 1855 to 1855 Joseph Forchheim 1856 educated in bakery later disappeared fate unknown Topic Sources O Sudi Tech Druhich Aneb Lide Kolum Tulla by Helena Pospihalova Checks in History, Joseph Kajetan Tyl, by Alina Skodova. Topic: External links. Checks in History. Article on Radio Praha website.